what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 2 of season 2 of my weapon review series here in black ops cold war now the reason this is season 2 is because I've moved on to using all the weapons with attachments if you remember the point of season 1 was to use all the weapons in the game with no attachments on the weapon at all to see how it would operate with nothing on it you know for those people that you know uh, have just started using a weapon and it doesn't have any attachments on it and you want to just see how it plays um, and there were a lot of weapons that I really enjoyed like the XM4 the AK-47 the AK-74U the Fera 83 the LC-10 there and then there were weapons I didn't really enjoy like the snipers um, and the type 63 but that was only because the type 63 is not good without attachments but it gets better with attachments um, so I really enjoyed doing that but now we've moved on to using attachments so in our last video we had reviewed the XM4 assault rifle and in our first match we used seven attachments on the weapon so everything except an optic and then the second match we used eight attachments including the reflex optic and then the third match we only used five attachments so that we could use six perks so that we could compare the weapon um, using eight attachments as opposed to five and actually it wasn't that bad with only five so if you only can use five attachments because you want six perks then that weapon's still pretty good with only five but you'll have to pick and choose which five you want uh, but in this video we're taking a look at the mp5 again this time with attachments and if you see uh, my weapon has another weapon blueprint on it this time it's the first mate that you unlock in the battle pass looks pretty nice but let's take a look at the attachments we're going to be running real quick so for the optic i've got the diamondback reflex we might change that up for our match in free-for-all because you remember I'm doing every weapon in free-for-all after I re review every weapon with attachments and we'll basically use it with the best attachments on the weapon so if I'm not you know blown away by the diamondback reflex we might switch to something else like the snap point or maybe the micro flex we'll see uh, but for now we'll use that uh, for the muzzle we'll be using the agency suppressor it's the second suppressor for the weapon. It does 100% muzzle concealment, but it also gives you that 7% increase in vertical recoil control, which is very nice. However, it does eliminate your effective damage range by 25%, but it is an SMG, so it doesn't have a lot of range on it anyway. Uh, we might switch that up to the regular suppressor in the second match, just to see the difference. For our barrel we've got the 9.5 inch reinforced heavy because we haven't unlocked the task force yet but this does 15 percent increase the effective damage range so that eliminates the other one where it took away our damage range it ups our bullet velocity by 80 percent but it hurts our sprint move speed and aim walk move speed which is fine uh, for the body, I'm using the SOF target designator. It does 60% increase to reveal distance while aiming down sight. We might switch that up to the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight. Or maybe we get the ember sighting point eventually. We might put that on. Who knows? Uh, we got the field agent grip. You could use the foregrip as well. Basically, the foregrip just does increase in horizontal recoil control, but this one does vertical and horizontal recoil control. But it hurts our shooting move speed. That's fine. Uh, I'm just using the normal 40 round drum. I mean, you could use any of these. If you like having a lot of ammo, you can use the 40 round drum or the 50 round drum. But if you like reloading faster, you can use the jungle style mag or the 40 round speed mag. Um, for the handle we have the serpent grip it increases your aim down sight time 
but it decreases your sprint to fire time, but we make up for that. Actually, we, we were going to make up for that, uh, but instead I'm using the SAS combat stock. I could switch to either the no stock or the collapsed stock in the next uh, round, but for now this increases shooting move speed and aim walking move speed, but decreases our hip fire accuracy. So that's what we got. Let's go into a match and see how this does. I've, I've never actually used the diamond back reflex sight on a weapon because you don't unlock it until a lot later. Um, but we'll see how it is. I know on the XM4 we used a regular reflex sight. Uh, that has 1.25 magnification. I think this one also has 1.25 magnification uh, But I'm not sure it might do 1.37 magnification But I think it's supposed to help with uh, target acquisition Which is good Because you know I could use that target acquisition boost This is actually not a bad map for the mp5 I did a weapon review with the LC-10 on this map, and that's an SMG, so, I mean, SMGs are pretty good on this map. I actually kind of like the LC-10 better than the MP5. And that was without attachments. But again, like I said in my previous videos with all the SMGs, pretty much every SMG in this game has really good iron sights. So in the next match, I'm definitely going to put threats. iron sights on this thing. Look at that. It's not a bad scope. We'll see how it plays. You know, there's going to be people just camping. Run! I'm the first mate of this ship. Because I've got the first mate. Weapon skin. Oh, come on. Get out of here, Jiggly. It's Jiggly Panda. Probably not, but it could be. I am just trying to review the MP5, not trying to get shot by anybody. I like this sight. The sight's good. I can't. Aha! I killed the killmonger. <laughs> oh no, there's gas. I don't think I have a attack mask on. I definitely don't because I have eight attachments and I know that one attachment I have or one perk I have is What the I'm hearing a field mic, where is it? Where are they? Okay. That guy was AFK, good thing. Uh oh. Hide. Maybe he won't see you. Or me. He won't see me. Aha! Ow, I'm hurt. I can take that out. I actually have rockets, but I can't see it because of the stupid trees. Uh oh. Is that friendly? I can't tell, but it didn't get any kills. Oh. Hostiles pipeline established overhead. This here. There's somebody over here. Uh, oh, he went. Where'd he go? He went in the window? Oh, come on. Don't bunny hop, dude. Stop bunny hopping. Seriously, I don't understand people who do that. It's not cool. Just showing how much of a tryhard no life you are. Come on, I'm trying to review the MP5 here. Stop sweating. This is a weapon review. Yeah, stop. 
head glitching a box, dude. Oh shit, I was reloading! I, I might have to go to the 50 round mag. This thing eats through bullets. I mean, the only thing the 50 round mag is gonna do is just make your reload speed take a little bit more time. Okay, that was just... How did you get me around the corner? This thing just did not have any range. I did not pick the right attachments for this weapon. I like the sight, but I don't know. I thought it was supposed to help my target acquisition. Aha. Dun dun, near the helicopter. Is he over there, teammate? No, he's not. Well, day. Come on, bro. Like, you're gonna try and get me with a shotgun from that far away? I respect your enthusiasm, but I don't. Aha! That's a counter UAV, right? They don't have a normal UAV in the air. Ow, stop it. Stop sniping me. Don't much appreciate the fight. Oh. Get outplayed by my first mate. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm liking this. Still not as good as the LC-10, but this, I like it. I like the sight. I like the attachments. Oh, come on, Jiggly. Stop doing that to me, Jiggly Panda. I know you're probably not the real one, but, like, still, quit it. Quit doing that stuff that you do. Yeah, as you like it, Jiggly. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm gonna pop out the window. Pop goes the weasel. You're the weasel. Oh! Wait, where'd he go? Hello? Spy plane established overhead. Oh, it's just a counter spy plane. Or no, it's a normal spy plane! Oh, oh come on! I hate your stupid spy plane. Jeez! Where is it? I hate not having engineers. I can't see it. So far, I am liking this weapon with attachments. It's much better than in Season 1 where I had to use the weapon with nothing. Even though it still was pretty good with no attachments. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I'd much rather have attachments. If I'm honest. Oh, that guy's got... Oh, if anyone uses anything on you, buddy, I'll counter it. If anyone uses their air patrol, I've got a counter air patrol. So don't worry about yourself. Uh, where'd they go? They keep running into gas mines. You need to stop doing that, bud. Stop running into gas mines. Oh, wait, where's this guy? He's up. He's in the window. Uh. Oh, your stupid field bike. Stop camping on your field bike. Come on. At least when I have my field bike out, I put it in a random place. I'm not camping on top of it. The field mic is like the poor person's acoustic sensor. Because acoustic sensor is better in every way. No. Ow, how? Stop camping, it's obviously not helping you win. No, I was gonna get it with the minigun. I'm just shooting his body now. I'm not actually sure which attachments to change up. We'll have to see. That guy's got the vision tech. I think that's a little too much of a zoom for an SMG. I got the flashpoint reflex, whatever that is. Let's take a look. 
First, let's back out. What is this? Flashpoint. Open reflex sight for the Phantom, or from Phantom with 1.37 magnification. Improves aiming precision and target acquisition. Oh yeah, it'll show me what it looks like. So the Diamondback reflex is also 1.37. It's Russian reflex sight, 1.37 magnification, a thin circular frame to prevent sight obstruction. Oh, I know this sight. There's a lot of tryhards using this flashpoint reflex. I'm going to use that. But since I only want to use seven attachments, well, uh, why don't we change this up? This didn't really help. Aim down sight time. Let's do hip fire accuracy. Why not? Still didn't unlock that. Uh, we could try the normal suppressor because that doesn't affect our effective damage range as much. Ooh. That affects our aim down sight time. I don't like that. That affects our aim down sight time as well. Fuck it. Well, uh, how do we... Okay. I guess we'll keep that then. Should we do no stock or collapsed stock? Let's try collapsed. Alright. That looks pretty good. So we changed up our stock from the SAS to the clap stock. That increases our sprint to fire time. We kept the serpent grip. Uh, we changed from the 40 round mag to the 50 round mag. We kept the field agency grip. We changed from the SOF target designator to the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight. We kept reinforced heavy. We went from the agency suppressor to the normal suppressor, and we changed from the diamond back to the fast point reflex. And in the third round, we'll use only five attachments, including the iron sights, because I want to see how the iron sights are with attachments. We already saw how they are without attachments. But yeah, I've seen a lot of tryhards using this flashpoint. I've never used it. I've never even used the diamond back, but the diamond back wasn't that bad. But, uh, yeah, I, the best part about this weapon so far is that first mate weapon blueprint. It looks so good. Look at that gold and leathery feel to it. it looks so good. And I like how the suppressor doesn't, like, ruin the skin. It sort of just blends in with the skin. And even the optic sight is part of the skin, which is pretty cool. Oh no, my least favorite map in the game. Oh, we're gonna have to do some, some major camping here. Cause I really don't like this garbage map. I can't believe they, they only added one You're new map. The company. Work clean, work fast. With season two so far and the only other map they're adding is just miami but smaller like are you serious bro ow, ow. man how many people were there this is why i don't like this map by the way it's just a camp fest no one goes anywhere How'd that feel? CDL skin? Bitch. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm liking this scope. No wonder so many tryhards use this thing. Wait, where's this? Get out of your field, my bitch. Yeah, this scope's pretty good. It kind of looks weird, but it's pretty nice. Oh, sneak up on this guy. There's fields everywhere, bro. Oh, dude, 
the sight is so good. Look at that. Like, I, I'm impressed with this sight, bro. Oh, and then, of course, I gotta get sniped. Come on. Typical. It's so typical that there's just gotta be a sniper around every corner. No. Oh, and of course, he's got a stupid trophy system because he's a piece of crap camper. So you can just stay there and aim down sight, you little bitch. I'm gonna come at you this way. You'll never expect it. Friendly target! Friendly target! Oh, wait. Get out of here, trophy system, bitch. Teammate, I got your back, Bob. Uh oh. Who's that with the minigun? Who's spitting up the minigun? Oh! He's dead. I saved your life, Bob. Yeah. What do you say to that, Mr. Bob? Hmm. Oh shit! La 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 la! Ha ha! Take that, master! Oh no! Oh, I actually got him! Retreat! Bob, they're coming! Retreat! I got this side if you got that side. Oh, he threw a flash. Oh yeah? Come at me. Bob? Are you holding your ground over there? Better be. Oh, it doesn't look like you're holding your ground. Just hide in the corner. He won't see you if he thinks you're dead. I am the Bob on the ground. I'm not the guy standing in the corner with a laser sight. Hey. Oh, retreat. Yeah, now, see, I moved. So you'll never know where I am. See, this is how you gotta play this map. You just gotta camp, like, a lot. Oh, I don't know how I got outplayed. Oh. Let's see what's in this care package. Come on, care package. I wanna win the care package lottery today. Give me something good. As good as this optic sight. I'm really impressed. I've never seen an optic sight this good before. I usually get all the shit optic sight. So this one is so good. It definitely ow. Ow. It definitely increases your target acquisition. So I like that. Oh, I got body armor. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? We're actually only barely losing, which is good. Oh yeah, calling your artillery. It's not gonna do shit. Oh, don't take out my field mic, bro. Oh, damn it. I almost got him. I almost got him. Alright. Minigun on minigun fight. Where are you, buddy? Come out. Come out. Come on, you're not dead. You can't be. I didn't get an assist for killing you. You're still alive. Now come out and die. He doesn't want to come out to die. Damn. Pull the damn plug. Of course, I get put in a match in progress. We're not taking this. Oh, Time to bug out. Oh, look at this guy using thermal. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely using thermal scopes on my LMGs when I get around to using those. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the thermal scopes unlocked, so I got a lot of work to do to unlock those. It looks like we have time for one more match. Uh, but we gotta make this quick. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the XM4. We're gonna put on perk greed up. Oh. On. Let's just get rid of all the attachments. Bird greed. That's good, good. Ghost. No, spycraft. Uh, let's put on. Let's put back on this. Because why not? Still don't have the task force. That kind of sucks. 
Uh, we'll keep that. We'll see now here's where it gets hard. Do I go with aim down sight time? Do I go with sprint to fire time? Or do I go with the magazine? Hmm. I'd say we get rid of that. That way we can have an upgraded mag. That aim down sight. Let's see how that does. I know I'm using like the same attachments, but I guess I could change it up. Why don't we try the jungle grip? Let's try the speed bag. We'll just switch up those two. Alright. Obviously when we use the weapon in free-for-all, we'll know exactly what attachments to put on it. I still don't know if I'm going to put an optic on. I might, just because it is free-for-all. But then, does that mean I can only use three perks, or am I going to use the five attachments, but just not... Uh, not have um, I don't know maybe not have a stock I'm not sure we'll have to see like I said we'll probably do two matches of free-for-all so we could even change up our attachments in there if we have to Nuketown huh that should be quick I don't like Nuketown but I'll take it I'm liking this weapon so far. Like I said, it was decent without attachments. I think I gave it a seven and a half out of ten or eight. I think it was an was it a seven and a half or an eight? It was either a seven and a half or an eight out of ten, even without attachments. So I would say with attachments, I'm gonna bump that up. But we'll see what this match does. Might bump it up to a uh, eight and a half or a nine out of ten which would be the highest rating i've given a weapon so far because i'm definitely liking this gun better than the xm4 not that the xm4 wasn't good it's just i was so frustrated when i was using it Train yesterday Let's see what you can so i do. guess my rating sort of is because of that but yeah i mean look at that look at that Where iron sight it's so good that optic sight though I really liked that optic sight I hear somebody who's coming up yeah I didn't think so bud there's somebody on the right side what are you doing there, bud yeah you're gonna flash me to kill me loser anyone who has to flash somebody to kill them is a loser Where'd he go? Seriously, teammate? That's one time where I don't want you to take my kill. Where are you going there, bud? Oh, come on. Why do you... Why are there so many cowards playing COD? Why does he back away if he knows he's losing the gunfight? Fight me face on, dude. Again, you gotta throw a flashbang. Wow, there's so many cowards playing COD. Nobody wants to face you head on unless they flash you first. It's so dumb. Where am I getting shot from, bro? I don't even know. There's way too many people there. This isn't working. 
And unfortunately, nobody goes to the middle of the map. Where the heck did he blow up? Taken the lead. Who puts a bouncing Betty in the middle of the road? Yeah, keep shooting at nothing, dude. Waste all your bullets. Seriously though, if you have to throw a flash or a stun just to kill someone, then stop playing COD. Hostile spy plane established overhead. Hostile RCXD in your AO. Yeah, dude, nobody goes past the middle of the map on Nuketown. Why not? And now the spawns flip. Like, they didn't flip the other, like, seven minutes of this match so far. They just flipped now. What? What? Huh? Dude, I, I don't know. I don't know where these cowards go. Look, another stun. Stop stunning. Just kill me head on, dude. This MP5 is pretty good. Even with the iron sight. Just put that right there. Do we know where they're coming from? This guy suck, by the way. He stunned me again. You guys literally can't get kills without stunning people. Yep, stunned me again. Like, you guys are so bad. Stop stunning me. You physically- Look, another stun! How many stuns can you people throw? These people literally can't get kills without stunning somebody. It's ridiculous. Stop stunning. They almost just need to take stun grenades out of the game. Multiple enemy sentry turrets active. It's such BS. These fucking losers can't kill anyone without stunning them. Yeah, get out and play, Mr. Glass. These people are so bad. Wow, I actually destroyed the sentry. Just wait, that's not what I wanted to do, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. That's the bitch. Yep. Keep coming up and keep dying. How's it feel? Boom, got it. Let's unlock a camo anyway. Cruise missile in. Ah. This is a solid weapon. I'm definitely having more fun with it than the XM4. But I just am sick and tired of being stunned. Okay, like... Oh, shit! Um... anyone on my team have an air patrol that they can use to block out the enemy air patrol because I have one but I'm not gonna be able to use it I'm using this anyway the match is almost over who cares I got it out of a care package I'm gonna use it yeah I like this how do you like this enemy team? This is for flashing me the whole time. Yeah? How's that working out for you? Die! All of you. This is what you get for using stun grenades. You stupid cowards. Yeah, hide inside, bitches. Yeah. I gotta start running tap mask.
but I just really like Blackjack the Engineer. I get a VTOL escort on the care package, but I'll take it. I usually have the worst luck with care package drops. Even with Engineer, I get nothing but UAVs and body armor. So I'll take a VTOL escort. That's a nice way to end this weapon review. I think in my next weapon review, I will run Tack Mask. Just just because of the gas mines and the stun grenades. And it looks like we unlocked a camo too. I think. Oh, we got task force. We might use that in our free-for-all match. It does 6% increase in damage, 50% increase in effective damage range, and 75% increase in bullet velocity. But it does hurt your vertical and horizontal recoil. And your max starting ammo. But that's fine. Because we can counter that with this. And we can also counter that with this. So I think we'll use that. Um, but I'm... I liked that. That was good. That, that was definitely a change of pace from the XM4 from yesterday. Where I was really frustrated. But I was mostly just frustrated by that one match on Express. When I was getting destroyed by those diamond sniper people <laughs> but I like this um, I would say my favorite attachments were probably the agency suppressor the reinforced heavy but I can't wait to use that task force I really like the field agents field agent grip magazine doesn't really matter the speed mag and the 40 round mag are pretty good 50 round mag is also pretty good. Uh, I think I liked the serpent grip better than the jungle grip. But actually, in that third match, I, I don't know. Because this one does aim down sight 15%. This one does aim down sight 25%. Huh. Either one's pretty good. And then as for the stock... I mean, you could use Collapse, No Stock, or SAS, or you could use this Raider, which I haven't unlocked yet. This one does Sprint to Fire Time plus 30, but it really hurts your hip fire accuracy. But if you don't care about hip fire accuracy, then you could use that. Uh, I think I'm going to give this weapon an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed the attachments, and I can't wait to see what this does in Free For All. So, in our next episode, obviously, we'll be moving on to the Type 63. Now, this got one of the lowest ratings of any weapon I reviewed, but that was without attachments. Now we can put attachments on this thing. I don't know which attachments I'm going to use. You're going to have to wait and find out in the next episode. But this is at least what we're going to be using. Uh, and I'm pretty excited because I can't wait to bump the rating of this weapon way up which i hope to do but for now that'll do it for this weapon review if you enjoyed this video and i hope you did i hope you'll leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you're new by hitting that subscribe button and then you can click that notification bell set it to all notifications on so you never miss a video i post to this channel and let me know in the comments what you think about the MP5, what attachments you like running on it, and what you think about this first mate weapon blueprint. I really like it, and I'm interested to see what you think about it. And I'll catch you all in my next weapon review.